Dr. Renville is the CEO and founder of Jason Renville. He co-founded with his wife, Jenny, the Goshen Safe Haven Community Development Center for Development, Education, and Empowerment, GSH CDC. He has been featured on local and nationally syndicated television and radio, such as TCT and Trinity Broadcasting Network several times, TBN, and also the Word Network. Tabernacle of Glory is pleased to welcome Dr. Jason Renville. Somebody say glory. Somebody, somebody say glory, glory. Glory, 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 glory. Just for a couple of more seconds, let us invite, let us entertain the glory of God in this place. Come on, come on, come on, tabernacle of glory. Come on, come on, come on, Zion. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, people of God. Come on, people of God. Come on, come on, come on, come on. As soon as Zion, as soon as soon as Zion prevails, she brings forth, she brings forth. Come on, Zion, come on, Zion, for a couple of more seconds as we ascend into that realm in there. Glory, 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 glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, come on, come on, give him glory in this place. Give him glory, 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 glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, we give him glory in this place. I honor God for his presence. I honor God for my brother and friend, Pastor Greg, and his beautiful wife, Pastor Patricia. He's not only a friend of mine, but I, con I consider him a brother in the kingdom. This man has a tremendous anointing in, on his life. I can feel the resident anointing in this place and the sanction of God over this summit. My God, to Tabernacle of Glory family, I love you all. You all know I have mad love for you. I love you. That's what they say in the hood, it's on the street. Mad love. I mean, crazy love for you all. The Shekinah FM family in our studio audience and those of you that are around the world, uh, Hello to our friends from I Need a Word Network who is carrying this broadcast right now to literally hundreds of thousands. To our friends from the Caribbean who is carrying it right now to literally thousands. Our friends in Africa and Shekinah FM. We give God glory in this place. Uh, we give him glory. I'm telling you, it's, it's difficult when the presence of the Lord show up. You just want to soak in the presence of the Lord. I want to acknowledge my assistant, Prophet Perry. You all know him. I mean, he, 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 the logistics and on the road stuff would not be possible without him. He's such a diligent man of God. And Dr. Massey is here with us today as well. She is joining us. Bless you, woman of God, for coming out. 
I consider it a privilege, if you will. You can take your seats if you stand, because you know we're not probably going to be sitting for long. Amen. I feel, I feel heaven is about to deliver something in this place. And by the way, those of you who are watching um, the other Creole sessions, uh, go to some of you who follow Pastor Greg and you want to understand in English properly what he's saying in Creole. There's a, go to YouTube, Shekinah YouTube channel, scroll down and click on translation. It takes you into the translated version of what he's saying. And some of them would ask me, well, it's Creole, Dr. Renfield. We love the anointing and we just, we just listen to what he's saying because we just pull up from the anointing so that that's a good way to understand and really flow in the spirit. Amen. Today, I want to really, uh, um, I really want to download something to you today. What I believe God has released to us this hour. I believe that we are at a time in the globe, in the body of Christ, where the supernatural, we are being forced into the supernatural dimensions of the kingdom and uh, which this is our original place anyway really and I believe that God is restoring ancient supernatural divine technologies and strategies for operation in the kingdom backed by a dimension of grace backed by signs and wonders backed by authority. Uh, we are in a time where we are confronted with a pandemic. But just stay a little long with me. But how many of you know that in the book of Matthew, and we'll get there in a minute, in Matthew 14, that Jesus was faced with a situation. And the Bible says that instead of sending the crowd away, which would have resulted in a pandemonium out of which we get pandemic. And if you get into the Greek, it is pandemos, pandemos. And if you get into demonology and the study of spirit, it's the spirit, uh, it's the pan gods. And they come up from the earth and they join with the spirits in the air because they want to have a panoramic control of the people in Greek. Pan means all, a wide perspective, a panoramic view. Demos, D-E-M-O-S, Demos means people. And so, have you ever noticed like in a building when a group of people are dismissed and there is no order, what can potentially happen? That's where we get the word from pandemonium. I was done with a game and there was such a pandemonium. So now we see here that Jesus intercepted a potential pandemonium out of which we get the word pandemic, which is rooted in these spirits from the earth and the air. See, and I do, I do believe that the times that we are living in, it's exciting times for the body of Christ. It, it, it. It's a time for us to come forth. We are being forced into the kingdom. My goodness. I'm telling you, I feel this. And so today I want to talk to you about utilizing kingdom technologies for supernatural dominion. Did you hear me? Utilizing kingdom technologies for super natural dominion tell your neighbor turn to your neighbor you that are in television land cyber land or in the audience says I'm a technologist you don't need a certificate from Yale or Harvard or, or, or a, a, a regular university so God has made you a divine technologist you have been inaugurated means that God has wired you with such properties of his that you are able to carry out 
this supernatural assignment. Turn with me to the book of Matthew 14. And we're going to read 15 through 21. Amen. I'm reading from the NIV. And it reads thusly. As evening approached, the disciples came to him and said, This is a remote place. And it's already getting late. Send the crowds away so they can go to the villages and buy themselves some food. Jesus replied, They do not need to go away. You give them something to eat. Mind you, God has downloaded so much of authority in the apostles. While he was teaching, while the people were sitting, and I'm kind of jumping ahead of myself, the apostles or the disciples got the mysteries, but the people got the principles. So Jesus already knew that they had the ability to supernaturally manifest from the heavens into the earth, commensurate to the, dev to the demand of the people, or in accordance with the demand of the people. You understand? So he says, you give them something. He says, we have, we have here only five loaves. Five loaves. Five loaves of bread and two fish. They answered, Jesus, bring them, bring them here to me. He said, and he directed the people to sit down on the grass. Taking the five loaves and the two fish and looking up to heaven, he gave thanks and broke the loaves. Then he gave them to the disciples and the disciples gave them to the people. And they all ate and were satisfied. And the disciples picked up 12 baskets of broken pieces that were left over. The number of those who ate, who ate was 5,000 men besides women and children. I'm going to interject something right there. That besides, you know, we usually say Jesus fed 5,000, but it's not 5,000. Besides it, the Aramaic or the Greek or even basic English language means in addition to. So, in addition to 5,000 men, women and children were fed as well. So, they didn't count the women and the men. But they were, they were at least 5,000. So, he fed at least 5,000, but not 5,000. All right? We're establishing that. Okay? Amen. We give God praise. Now, what, what, what is so important about this scripture, this story, the development the revelation. Jesus understood that we need, he needs, he needs to teach the disciples or the apostles to reteach them on the kingdom relative to manifesting the supernatural. And so he's saying to them, you release the miracles the miracle to the people and so now he called them by capacity and they were not exactly convinced that they had the authority and so Jesus says listen I'm going to utilize some ancient spiritual supernatural technologies right now don't send them away put them to sit see and what we are going to do, I'm going to take you into the classroom again as you once were. Because revelation without manifestation would be frustration. So when he downloaded the principles to the people, he gave the keys to the disciples. And he says, activate these keys. Activate these technologies. And shift the people into a dimension of the kingdom in the supernatural Manifest the supernatural. It says, taking first, first technology. Don't underestimate the power of the take, you know. The takeover. Taking, comma. Taking the five loaves. Jesus, in English, taking is a present continuous. It's a doing verb. Constantly, something is happening. So Jesus taking, that means he stepped into a dimension. Take off. The plane took off. The car took off. 
you move, when you walk on foot, you move from one level to the next. You, and then you can eventually go up into a whole dimension. So it took them, it took charge of the situation. Take. You see? The same word for take means to pan. That means that you take control of the circumference of a thing. It takes taking the five loaves. Why does he need specifically five? Because in order to manifest the supernatural commensurate to the needs of the people to prevent a potential pandemonium and a pandemic, he has to be calculated with what he does. So he creates something that we, I call a living library of faith. And he says, I need some key ingredients. Has any one of you been to chemistry, basic chemistry or biology or the labs? The first stuff, thing or key, he steps into that dimension. And he says, listen, get me the five loaves of bread. Why? Because five is the number of grace. So put the grace on the lab table. Now we took off into this dimension now. We're in this lab. So assemble grace. And why do we need bread, master? Bread is from wheat, which is the same root word for wealth or substance that comes forth from the earth. And so God is saying that the substance, bread, wealth, is about to be increased commensurate to your demand in spite of a potential threat of a pandemic. But this can only be performed supernaturally. And so he says, now we are here. I took charge of this dimension. And I invited all of you here. But now we got the bread. The bread, you know in the street talk what bread represents. Substance. Your wealth. Life. Five grace. Two fish. We need number two on the table as well. Why do you need number two on the table? Because two is the number of agreement. So heaven... And earth has to come into agreement with something to perform this miracle. So it was an experiment for the people, but it was an exercise for Jesus. And it was a learning lesson for the apostles. Because they already were given the authority. They were given the key. They were given this technology. And now Jesus says, I want you to take charge. Take means to activate in a dimension of faith where faith resides. In the book of Hebrews 11, I think in 6, it says that without faith, it's impossible to please God. So you got to, faith is active. It's active. And so Jesus knew that he had to utilize his faith to pull them into that dimension. And first, it says that when you come to God, you got to even believe that he is God. So they're not exactly convinced. And the disciples, they failed the class. Because Jesus activated, took them into the classroom. And they failed. They couldn't. So master, back to master. Your, the fish, he said, specifically put the fish on the lab table. Why? Because fish is indicative or signifies or represents the productivity, prosperity. I'm not talking about a house or a car or some money. That original word for prosperity means that you progress at God's divine rate for your life. And so we have grace and we have action plan. We are activated in this lab. We got the grace, number five. We got the loaves. Hey, Masudo Ruchebe. 
We got the fish. And we got two on the table. The Bible says that he looked. He looked. Where did he look? Because remember, it takes them into a dimension of activation now. And the next key, the next technology is powerful. It's the looking. You don't understand that looking is a, you don't understand how powerful of a technology looking is. That word in the Greek there is koita. It's not to be able to see with natural eyes. It's to be able to see beyond the three-dimensional world, everything in this fish, um, physical world. So when you look, it means that you transcend this dimension. When you translate that word from the Greek, the koita, into English, what it means, vision. A vision that is so sharp, laser focus, laser vision. So what Jesus literally had to do, he stepped in to this place where he activated a vision in his mind commensurate to the manifestation or in accordance with the manifestation of the people, the needs of the people, the capacity of the manifestation. He did not look to man. God knows he couldn't look to the disciples because they, uh, you know, threw him under the bus, per se. He didn't turn to his mother. He looked to heaven. Looking means that he act, he's actively engaging his father and the throne room in this dimension that he's releasing now something. He says, looking to heaven... He gives thanks. Now he's looking. He's now focused on what he wants to release for this lab exercise. And he sees exactly where the resources are in the realms of the spirit. And his mind now has the ability to reproduce the exact degree of resource that he saw in the realm of the supernatural. Bringing you a little closer. And he comes. And then he begins to do something very important. Focus. And the Father. See, that same word to look, if you translate it and break it down, it has a lot of meanings. One of it is blueprint. Means that when you create the blueprint, blueprint produce exactly a scene. Jesus conquered the dimension in his mind of lack in the earth. And they're looking on at Jesus. See, you got to understand that lack, anything, the, the inability to manifest the authority of God starts in your mind. You can be a believer, but you don't believe God can heal. You can be a believer, but you, you, you don't believe that God wants you to be blessed. You can be, the mind is something in the mind is prohibiting you. And so now, Jesus says this. Remember the man at the pool of Bethesda when he was there? He said, I ain't got nobody paralyzed. And Jesus says, you ain't got the paralysis problem. You got a paradigm problem. Get up in your mind. And you will, this, man, this miracle will manifest in time. In real time. Why? Because psychology controls biochemistry. That's not deep. All that means is this. When you perceive it in your mind, it will manifest in your hand. Yes. He is looking to heaven. 
and he gave thanks. Don't, 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 don't underestimate the technology of thanksgiving. The Bible says he gave thanks, but really if you get, get into that scripture, you'll realize that he, he, he didn't really give thanks. What he did, he stepped into a realm of prayer. But in the Hebrew, before they start praying, they thank God for the end. So, by the, 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 you know, by deduction in the Bible, King James, the translators just put, he gave thanks. But what it is, he understood, I have all of the elements now on the lap table. I have taken them into a dimension in the spirit where now there is going to be earthly manifestation. I've got the faith. I've got the activation. I've got the loaves. I've got the grace. I've got the authority. I've got the agreement of heaven and earth. And now we are going to stage a production. A production. Why? Because fish signifies productivity. And we are going to produce in real time. And we are going to show that we have the power to intercept a pandemic. In spite of a possible threat of a pandemic, we will step into the dimension of government of God in the kingdom. And we will command the realms of the spirit. And we will declare that in the earth, every element will line up, line up to the command that Jesus issues. Look, and he says, I got to utilize the technology now. It's called prayer. Because now, you got to understand the power of prayer. I like to say this. Prayer is the only legitimate vehicle between heaven and earth that enables the deployment of the power of God. God in his kingdom and in the globe in real time. Jesus says this. Whatsoever you bind in the earth is bound in heaven. So he takes them into the classroom or a practicum to activate the supernatural. To show them that the supernatural is a byproduct of the kingdom. And really, it is not the supernatural. It's natural for us because in the Garden of Eden before the fall, it was naturally supernatural. It was called glory. It was called glory. The Shekinah, the Cobalt, the Duxa, unbreakable, uncompromised. This is glory. He's so there in this dimension. And he begins to shamba to city. Pray. Because you see, you can't manifest the supernatural at the threat of a spirit that will potentially turn into something harmful without understanding how to utilize this technology. It is called prayer. It is called prayer. See, we don't throw prayers out of the church. Prayer now is a byproduct of everything else. It is replaced now with marketing, marketing strategies and nothing against that. And planning sessions and committees. But principalities and powers, they don't, re they, they don't respond to that. You have to be registered in the realms of the spirit and when you are registered you have recognition when you have recognition when you open up your mouth you begin to transact business on behalf of the father there is a deficit in the earth now God and I'm your representative I'm your agent and I've stepped into this dimension it is called kingdom government that will manifest the supernatural and they are questioning me whether or not you have the ability as Jehovah Jireh to suspend the elements of this universe and cause the bread and the fish to change its molecular structure to accommodate the supernatural. That could not be activated without a prayer language. Jesus was in the lab and they said, Master, 
What are you doing under your breath? He said, I'm communicating now between heaven and earth because the manifestation of this thing lies heavily upon my shoulder. So in order for me to now cause this molecular structure in the bread and the fish to accommodate, to feed 5,000 plus, I got to cause something and I got to create a response from heaven. Heaven has already come into agreement ha, with earth, but now I am the vehicle and so I'm over here. Reci Batamba, Rush Kibanda. Yes, Father, you are Elohim. You are the creator. You have downloaded your creative power on the inside of me. And as I step in to that dimension with you, I am one with you. I'm not alien from the creative power. That power is encoded in my DNA, it is encoded in my genome. I have Galileo like type properties in my DNA. And I'm going to partner with you. And we are going to carry out this manifestation. We're going to stage this production for the world to see that we are not wimps. For the world to see that we are not a laughing stock. But we have technologies that we can command the very element to obey us. Pandemic. Jesus saw the pan gods came up from the earth and they communicated with the spirits of the air and they were trying to advantage the situation to cause the people to be dispersed in confusion with hysteria, with paranoia. Jesus said, no, I rebuke you. But this is the level of Jesus' rebuke. He rebukes the enemy by activating a law of the kingdom. He said, sit them down. He brought order. Order, divine order, divine systems of order, divine laws and patterns. He said, ah, two lords don't rule in the same place. I'm, a, I'm an agent for the father. And I speak as this viceroy. I speak as an ambassador. I speak. So quoted Sata. He came in to his prayer language. And then he gives thanks. And then he begins to feel something coming. And he continues to pray. And he begins to pray. He begins to pray. And before you know it, is there, he said, Father, I want you to do this because I don't want them to believe that you are God, that you should lie. I already told them that you are Jehovah Jireh. So this is what Jesus did. He stepped to the bread, which was indicative of the earthly agreement, the source from the earth, and he picked the bread up and he broke the breakthrough from the spirit manifested when Jesus broke the very power of God, the Eloistic power of God infused that bread and the molecules and the atoms in that bread adjusted themselves to accommodate the economy of glory. God says, I operate from a different economy. Glory is my standard. Glory is my currency. Glory is my authority. Glory is my dominion. Glory is mine. He broke. He received the breakthrough. Noticed when he did. He broke bread. After he entered into a realm of prayer. He utilized this technology. He began to, he began to pray. Pastor Greg has been commissioned by God for 40 days. To fast and pray. And I'm telling you, after this 40 day, something major always happens for this ministry. Something grand always happens for this ministry. Why? Because the heavens are open. And as you laser focus your mind in the dimensions of the spirit, no agent in the earth that is working with triangular powers, with the sun, with the moon, with the star, will be able to restrict your expansion, will be able to take you out of your place of blessing will be able to prohibit you from ascending into your rightful realm of authority. Prayer opens up the doors of favor. Prayer brings the elements back into order. Prayer causes the prophetic to be activated. Prayer releases the government of God. Prayer
prayer releases the grace of God. Prayer activates a supernatural grid. Prayer will cause you to gain ground. Prayer. He experienced breakthrough. And then he says this. This level of breakthrough is not just for you. It's for the kingdom. Now he said, take this bread, the substance, and the fish, and deploy it. He told the disciples, don't pocket it. Don't heap it. It's not for your personal gain. He said, give it to the people. Release the glory. Release to the people. And then the people decide that they're going to sit. And they're being fed now with manna. Mind you, the molecules have already supernaturally adjusted themselves to accommodate this supernatural lab, lab experience that Jesus was conducting in the earth. We're living in a time where we have to know the supernatural for real. People don't care about how much you know. People don't care about theology. People don't care about how many scriptures you quote. What people want to know about, are you able to partner with the heaven to manifest some authority, to manifest the government of God, to manifest the glory, to manifest the power, to manifest the rule, to manifest the original intention of dominion. I started off by telling you that we are, we are activating a dimension. We are stepping into a dimension even as we speak we are transacting business at a different dimension in the spirit we are lift the law of lift kicked in when Jesus says taking the five bread we were lifted and shifted into a new dimension in the kingdom where the supernatural technologies are are going to be activated within you and come upon you and the two dimensions shall agree and you will walk in your realm of authority Yes, I go. The, 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 the disciples fed the skeptics and the doubters in excess of 5,000 people. They all ate. Tell somebody, even in the threat of a pandemonium, a pandemic, Jesus, but Jesus was a bad brother now. Jesus intercepted the pandemic before it even manifested. So it didn't even have an opportunity to, but the spirit was lurking. So Jesus says, eyes on you. I'm a set order in this realm. So by activating the order and the protocol and the dimensions of the spirit as, as established by God, this automatically the enemies canceled out from that region. And it says here, they all yet, and they were satisfied. There was no hunger. There was no strife. There was no fighting. There was no constriction. There was no restriction. There was no lack. There was no, there was no if this is going to be provided for. If we are going to be preserved. If we are going to be well. No. They all ate. And they picked up 12 baskets. Full. 12 baskets full of Full of broken pieces that were left over. Left over. Tell your neighbor, when the supernatural manifests, you always are going to have time leftovers. God will take you in the realm of divine surplus. And the reason that it had to have been the disciples picking up the 12 baskets... 12 disciples, the number of government, the apostle, the apostles meaning those that are sent with governing authority on behalf of the kingdom. They failed the first class, but they said, you know what? We are not going to fail the second time, a second time. So even after the people finished eating, even as they placed a demand on the realm of the supernatural, the anointing, the glory was so potent in that region. 
on, on the, in the lab where Jesus was performing the miracle, the experiment, the exercise, there was leftovers. And as they began to pick up it, multiply. The government of God represents the 12 disciples. The 12 baskets represent the government of God taking control of the provision, of the substance, the productivity, the prosperity of what needed to feed the people. When the government of God kicks in, it's over. It is over. And they said, we are now living in a realm of perpetual overflow. Perpetual overflow. The people left because they were just concerned about being fed. They were just concerned about being fed. But the disciples laser in. They focused in on the lesson because they were not out of the classroom as yet. And they said, now let's see. Even with this resident anointing, let's begin to pick up the, left, pick up the leftovers. And in the dimension of their mind and in their spirit, they placed the demand on the supernatural to even multiply the leftovers. Twelve baskets full. Baskets represent your storehouse. A dimension of wealth. A dimension of government. The dimension, the full scope of the authority in the kingdom that God has called you to manifest. Twelve baskets full. Because the government of God control of the situation the government of God Jesus took Jesus looked he prayed he gave thanks he broke and he gave and the elements of the earth subjected themselves capitulated because the supremacy of the kingdom, the manifestation of the supernatural will always dominate chaos. The Bible says that there was darkness in Genesis. It was a different type of pandemic in Genesis. Utter darkness. No order. No rule. No structure. Knowledge. Insight. Governance. Patterns. Protocols. Similes, types, prototypes, gone. Darkness, this was beyond the pandemic. And God got up. And he stepped in to the realm of the supernatural, which is called the Elohim himself, or the bara, a dimension from which the supernatural is created. And he says, let there be. Light is revelation. Order, provision, manifestation. He said, let there be light. Let there be laser vision that will reproduce who I am in the earth. So even now, wherever you are, all over this building, I begin to feel the presence of the supernatural power in this place. The Holy Spirit begin to pray. There is a move that is going to occur in television land. All in the Caribbean nations. All across Africa. You're going to write in with your testimonies. Even right in this studio, God is blowing a wind. Oh, come on somebody in this place. Somebody, you're, you're receiving an entire blood transfusion. Hey, in the name of your arm, your entire left arm is being healed. In the name of Jesus, there's somebody in this place. You've got a, 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 a sharp pain in your shoulder, your right shoulder. 
it's disappearing now. Somebody in your neck, there's a pain. It's almost as though you fell and you hit your neck and that pain has been there. Right now, under the glory and under the laser infusion of the Spirit of God, under the power of the Spirit that is moving, even now I command you not heal, but whole in Jesus' name. Right now we curse every condition that is present in this studio. We curse every condition that does not line up with the kingdom, every condition that seeks to challenge the authority of God we issue a command someone in your stomach area you are getting healing complete healing in your gustatory area some to someone just now you felt the fire of God burn something out of your colons someone your ears your left ear your left ear is popping open someone you there, there is a cringe in your it's, it's like a cramp on your right left right side of your leg God is bringing healing to you those that are in television land lift up your hands right Right now because you will receive a mantle you would receive a mantle so that you are able to operate in this realm in the midst of this pandemic you will be able to operate in the realm of the supernatural this dimension of the kingdom where you release the glory of God in your homes where you release the presence of God come on come on come on come on where you release the glory where you release the healing where you release the dominion of God father blow blow like a wind blow like a wind oh those that are intending my God to prolong this pandemic we release the wind of the spirit to blow across the nations to blow in the earth from the heavens we decree and declare that heaven will invade earth and this pandemic this viral infection will dry up as prophetic tacticians as prophetic technologists begin to emerge and speak to the element speak to the membrane of this pandemic of covid and we say in jesus precious name in the name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, begin to call on his name wherever you are. Begin to call on his name and give him glory in this place. Give him glory wherever you are. Pastor, I feel a strong flow of creative miracles flowing through the camera even now. Those of you that are in the audience that are intercessors, let us begin to pray in the spirit. Those of you, I feel the fire of God erupting from my feet up. I feel the fire. I feel the flow. I feel the glory of God. I feel the authority. I feel the glory. I feel that we have stepped in to a new dimension in the kingdom. I feel that we have stepped into a new realm of power. That we have stepped into a new realm of open heaven. That we have stepped into a realm of power. We have stepped into a realm in the kingdom where the supernatural will be natural. Where it will come up from our bellies. Where you will birth in the supernatural. Where you will lift up your hands and you will activate you will activate the supernatural on the inside of you the wind of the spirit and every other technology the ability to release the glory of God in the earth the ability to represent the kingdom the ability to legislate the ability to sanction on the throne's behalf the ability to enact government the ability to release your prayer language the ability to begin to call the glory and the order of God glory 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 come on lift your hands with me in the presence 
Oh, we give you glory in this place, Lord. We give you glory in this place. We give you glory, glory, glory. For thine is the kingdom. For thine is the kingdom. The power and the glory. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, come on. Heaven is invading this place. Hey, hey, hey. Ho, 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 ho. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, 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 hey. Say, baby, So take your time. Rete batu. Zumreke. Zonga narhatai. Brike to yamasa. Shetengu de katai. Shekete le tayabaha. Shikoye dambu. Sukede, kete bugadada. Come on, Zion, come on. Come on, Zion. Come on, come on. 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 Come on, I prophesy. I prophesy the glory. I prophesy the release. I pay so potokata. Reti beyond Zaya. Shikebutanda. Leti beyanza. Shete. Seke. Sate. Subaya. Rete. Rete. Sunday Keteta Tayabaha. Dumbe Lekita Badande. Seteya. Sete. Seteya. Pretty Keteya Manza. Fatiya Nekuta. Sete Katia Manze. Oh, Sete the Alagarayanda. We secure this 40 days fast and the seven days we secure in the spirit. Hey, 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 hey. I feel as though I feel as God I feel as though God is releasing a degree of the supernatural anointing. Yes, He is taking this 40 day, He is taking this summit into a new realm, a new dimension. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Come on, come on, Zion. Come on, come on, Zion. Release the roar. Release the roar. Release your roar. Release your roar. Release, 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 release. Release, release, release. Release, release. Release, release, release. Release, release, release. Release, release, release. Hey, 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 Soto Cote Brete de Becota Retin de Biondo Cumbreti Anda Cheriki Bende Cuspiti Lebecota. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Yes, 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 yes. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey. Yes. Yes, Father. Yes. Yes, Father. God is ministering to his people. Yes, Father. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. 
Yes. Oh, the presence of God is in this place. It is so heavy in this place. There is a wind in this place blowing. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, don't get tired. Don't get tired. Don't get tired. There is a new level of breakthrough God is releasing upon this conference. A new level of operation. There is a new level of authority. There is a new level of power. There is a new level of kingdom anointing. There is a new level of the supernatural. I felt the glory in this place when I pulled up in the car. I felt the resident anointing in this studio. I felt the Shekinah in this place. I felt it, I felt it, I felt it. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody give him a shout in this place. Give him a shout of praise. Give him a shout of praise. Give him a glory. Give him a glory, a glory. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Give him a glory. Give him glory in this place. Give him glory for the release in this place. Give him glory for his authority in this building. I declare and decree in the mighty name of Jesus that you will step into this realm in the kingdom utilizing these technologies for end time manifestation of the glory of God in the name of Jesus just keep your hands lifted